What's up guys? Welcome back. We are back with our titanium. A lot of people complain about this not being placed in a 90 degree angle. One of the most comments that I get every day. So um, we're gonna risk it today. Hopefully that doesn't ricochet. We're gonna put it like this. We'll put it on this side like that. On the surface that it hasn't been hit. And look what I got over here. Thanks to Mark Serbu, he brought out a whole bunch of uh, ammo, 20 millimeter armor piercings, tungsten, and he also brought his 20 millimeter uh, cannon and we're gonna shoot it, that was a... What? You're welcome. We're gonna go back to show you guys, he's setting it up right now. So, yeah, he brought it out so we're gonna shoot it because that was also another request from people to shoot it with the 20 millimeter, see what happens and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's get back there and let me show you guys the cannon that Mark brought over and we'll get to it, let's go. Okay, so... All right, here's our 20 millimeter cannon. Uh, let me get it on this side. Without the scope. Mark, are we gonna sh uh, shoot it with the scope or without it? Without it, we don't, okay. have, we don't have the ammo or the time to <laughs> yeah. put it all set in. And this is, we took out the bolt and this is what you can see in there. He's gonna bore sight it. Oh, this is cool, you can see the, hold on. Is there something I can lay down on? And that's how, okay, you can see it kind of right now. And that's how we're gonna shoot it. Because we kind of were short on time, we didn't really have time to put the scope back on to sight it in. And we don't have that many ammo left. That many rounds. And we don't have that many rounds left. And also we're gonna have Mark shoot it. In case that bullet ricochets back, it will hit Mark, not us. Yeah, Mark, why are you laying down like that? <laughs> so when the bullet comes back, it'll just hit me on the top of the head. <laughs> You want that helmet? I can give it to you. No. That military one. I'm I have not it. worried about it. I can do it. <laughs> Fire in a hole! And that's how you do it. Oh man! And that's why Mark Servo is Mark Servo. Right, Mark? Right. Okay, guys. Battery died. I have to change it. So here it is. Ah, this thing is so hot. Even though some time has passed by, that thing just fits right in there. Unbelievable. Okay, this goes to show you that the 50 caliber when I shot it, even if I had it at a 90 degree angle, it still wouldn't have made any difference. So we'll hit it one more time, same location almost. We'll see if we can uh, have any penetration out of this. If that can do it, then uh, this titanium win this case, okay? So let me put it back up. Oh man, this thing is still super hot. This is a tungsten round, much better in penetrating than that armor piercing, supposedly, according to Mark. So, um, if we miss this, it is what it is, we don't have another one. This is the last one, we've been shooting a lot of these. Hopefully we hit it. So let's go. Final! It's missed. It is what it is. Unfortunately, it is difficult to aim with this thing, not having a scope on. Not enough time, not enough rounds. We missed that uh, tungsten round. Maybe in the future we'll come back to it again. But we're gonna shoot it one more time with the armor piercing one, the black tip. Right, ready. Fire in the hole. Thank <laughs> you. 
Huh? Where's the plate? <laughs> oh, over there behind the... the... Okay, oh this is crazy. <laughs> walk it, I'm gonna how, walk many, it how many yards is that? I'm gonna walk it up. <laughs> so, between 30 to 35 yards. That's how far it uh, threw this plate off. Wow. Not bad of a hit. Damn. What do you think this is, like a half an inch deep? Yeah. Wow, even with those uh, 20 millimeter rounds, we get about a half inch deep. Not a bad group. No, that's a pretty good grouping. Wish we would have hit that tungsten, but oh well. I don't think it would have gone through. I bet it would. That's, that's halfway through. So now we're going to have to come back some other time and shoot that tungsten. If Mark says it, it would have gone through. But look, there's no bulging on the back of this at all. How crazy is that? It just took a chunk out of it. Hmm, interesting. That's it for the, for the titanium. I'm still keeping this thing. We might come back to it with the tungsten round. I'm not sure. Okay guys, there you have it. That's 20 millimeter versus the titanium. Mark, thanks again for bringing that 20 millimeter and at least trying to shoot it with that tungsten. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> we'll get it next time. All right? So close. Yeah. You know, we might. We don't know the accuracy of those tungstens. Maybe they just get thrown off. Remember how the base kind of ended up other yeah, places? Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh well, next time we'll get it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Check out Mark Serbu's channel. I will leave a link in the description. Thanks again, Mark. And we will see you guys next time. Let's go. <laughs>